Well, the time has come. Garmin is finally, after all this time, going to start discontinuing support for certain models. Supposedly only in Australia and New Zealand. Beginning July 1, 2023. So, not right now, but July of this year, 23. Garmin map updates for the following Australian and New Zealand Garmin automotive navigation devices will be discontinued. Map updates will continue to be available until that time. And as we go through the models here, devices impacted. I'm going to concentrate on the automotive ones because that's the ones I'm interested in. So we've got a bunch of new Vs, which does include one of my favorites, as you'll see in a moment, the new V30. Yeah, I like that one a lot. 40 and the 50. Oh, <laughs> one of the best ones they ever made. Amazingly, the 2820 is still supported. I don't even understand how, because it does, I don't, how do you fit the maps on that thing? I, does it have micro SD card support? I don't remember it having that. Mm, amazing. So what does this mean? Okay, well it basically means based on what the list based on the list I've seen here, that if I go back to the release dates for the POI factor as a page on this, it would seem that they're discontinuing a whole bunch of model excuse me, a, a discontinuing map update support for a whole bunch of models up to about twenty twelve. So for twenty thirteen and onward. Uh, model releases, it appears you could still get map updates. What's my take on this? Okay, so first of all, I'm surprised they didn't do this sooner. <laughs> because if we look back at the Street Pilot 2820, that was, yeah, around 2004, 2005. I cannot believe they still support that thing. I mean, kudos to Garmin, seriously, for supporting it for this long. That's incredible that they actually will do that. Because in the world of electronics, how long until something becomes obsolete? Uh, in the long term, I think ancient is five years. That's ancient. Like, imagine using a, the same smartphone you used five years ago. I mean, to, to give you a sense of the uh, how things age in electronics. That's just incredible. Now, although it says Australia and New Zealand, oh, you know this is going to go across the board. I mean, Garmin would be dumb not to, to say, okay, anything made prior to 2013, we're not giving map updates for that anymore. When I say across the board, I mean North America, I mean Europe, I mean everybody. That's honestly, I I do believe that's what they should do. And I, and I know that's not a popular thing to say, but hey, I mean, <laughs> this is nuts that they've uh, uh, that they've had map updates for this long. As per a recent video of mine, I just got a map update for my two five five WT, and that one is a uh, 2007 yeah 2008 right there yeah so I got a map update for my new V255WT I, I was shocked I was shocked this is the video I did where it was brand new in box never opened yeah I still got it I said okay this there's no way I, there's no way they're gonna give me a map update sure they did unreal so what is the future of PNDs, personal navigation devices. Actually, you know what, before we get to that. Okay, so if you have one of these models and you're like, oh no, well, I, I need map updates. What am I going to do? Well, that's when you go to open mapchest.org and you get yourself an open street map version of maps, which I've covered in detail several times. So if you want to get map updates, you do that. Although 
two things to bear in mind when you do this. Number one, the it does not show speed limits for at least for North American maps. And number two, again in North America, the traffic, if you have a traffic antenna connected, it will not work because it's depending on the map data from here, formerly known as Navtech, in order to follow along with the uh, traffic, the RDS and all that. So your speed limit doesn't work and your traffic doesn't work, but your navigation works, which is the most important part. And this is, uh, this is free, so you really can't complain. If you are bound and determined to stick with an old Garmin, ancient at this point, after Garmin lays down the boom in July, well, you've got open map chest. So again, I've covered that in previous videos of mine, if you want to know how to do it. Relatively simple, you do have to use Torrent to download it, it's not, not a big deal. So let's, let's just talk about Garmin in general. Now as you can see from their, their homepage, they really like pushing uh, basically anything but their automotive units these days. You, you notice as these images are flashing back and forth, the, they love their watches, uh, there's a fishing thing for chart plotters. They go where the money is. Obviously, they're a business. So of course they're going to go, you know, for that. But here's the thing. I honestly do believe that there's still a market for PNDs. And I'm going to show you exactly why. So if anyone from Garmin actually sees this and you want to talk to me about it, why? I don't know. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. But go to the Google Play Store and just look up reviews for Waze. Just you know, go play play.google.com and then just, you know, read the reviews and look at what people are complaining about. This is just Waze, and you can find the same thing on Google Maps. Buggy, doesn't work, the one star, the like, good for hazards, bad for navigation, location, accuracy, terrible, app thinks I'm a street away from where I am. You, these I just loaded this page. I am not bashing on Waze. I want to make that clear. I'm not bashing on that product. This is what people are saying about it. And if you go through the reviews, you're going to find a lot of people complaining about this. It's still used widely, of course, but the point is, whether you look at Waze or Google Maps, there's a lot of people that just don't like it. They don't like it. Why? Because for them, it doesn't work. It just doesn't work. And they want something that works. So when you deal with enough of that crap, that's when you look at alternatives. And inevitably, you're going to hear about Garmin. Because, well, what did we have for GPS navigation before the phone? Well, we had Garmin. And still do. So if we go to their automotive devices, you know, they look for ones for the car. This is this is my complaint about Garmin right now. It's not a complaint about their product. I'm glad they even have one, first of all. You've got you know the 52, which is the last old school model that still uses mini USB. Then you have, of course, the DriveSmart 66. I bought that one. I bought another one uh, from GPS City, a refurb, which, by the way, is still working great. And they have the 76, and they have the DriveCam 76, and then you got the big guy, you got the 86. I get it that the money is not an automotive. The money, as far as in this category is concerned, is in motorcycles, RV, truckers, things like that. Especially if you haven't seen this recently, they just recently introduced the Tread series. These are ridiculously expensive uh, navigation units, as you can see by the price right there. But they are built for purpose, and they are a very specific purpose. You know, that like they have ones for race vehicles and things like that. So yes, you can justify the price with that, but that's really, really niche. So I get it. I get it. Um, 
but that they're going for where the money is. But I do believe that there is still a place for PNDs. Again, go read the reviews for Waze or Google Maps and see what people are complaining about. And then you might think, well, maybe there is still a market for PNDs. Yes, I do believe there is, but this needs to change. And what needs to change? Because if you're going to identify a problem, provide a solution. Okay, fine. I will provide a solution just uh, in basic terms here. Okay. The deal is that, first of all, Garmin, why are you still doing wide format when everybody's using a phone, which is ultimately vertical, okay, uh, as in portrait mode? Yes, you do have that with the 8-inch. I see that. You've got it where you can use it either way. You can use it tall or wide, but... It's the default should be portrait totally. Also, there should be something which uh, another thing is that the mounting situation for cars, it should be something which mounts the way people mount phones in cars, which is mag mount. Okay, every single PND released from here on forward should be a mag mount. It totally should. Now, as far as the um, the maps are concerned, well, I assume, Garmin, that you're still using here, and you will be for the foreseeable future. So I'm not even going to touch that. I'm assuming that's the case for your any of them, whether it's your RV series, tread series, uh, diesel series, doesn't matter what it is. Okay, fine. Use that. But make it vertical, and just to point out the... Um, the motorcycle model here. Now, I like the fact you actually still do make a 4.3. That's great. That's great. Really great that you still do that. This is a good size for modern cars if you can do this portrait style, vertical mode. So if this is done per uh, vertical mode with an edge-to-edge -edge screen, you know, not with this giant bezel because you don't need that for the inside of a vehicle, and you make it mag mount, and you make it USB-C, true, and there would need to be some what I call massaging of the UI, where it, it a real high concentration needs to be put on legibility. Now, again, I, I doubt Garmin will ever see this, but I would be totally willing to go to Kansas to talk to their devs about this. I would just go down there and they said, yeah, oh, shit, come, come to Kansas, come to our building, talk with our people, tell us what you think they want for a PND. And I'd say, sure, I would go there, I, I'll bring some documents, and I will make the pitch. I, I totally would do that. I would have no problem doing that whatsoever, because I've worked in corporations before, I've, I've, I can lead a meeting and do all that and just sit down and say, okay, well, you say we can make money with this. Tell us how. Okay, fine. And I would tell them how. It would essentially be a 4.3 inch and a 5 inch model. I mean, here's the general overview. It would be a 4.3 inch and a 5 inch model. The UI would be changed to really concentrate very highly on legibility and visibility, even more so than now. The legibility and visibility is good but it could be better. And the great thing about it is that I wouldn't have to reinvent the wheel. It's just little things here and there that would really make a difference for uh, future PND models. And then there's the price point. Now, the thing is, Garmin's have, they've never been cheap. They've never been cheap. I mean, it is technically, I guess, a specialty item. Like right here, they got the 52. Uh, 129, that's not it's not bad, that's not bad, but they could totally do a $99 model. They totally could. If they could get one of these, like a 4.3 inch, like the 4.3 would be like 99, and the 5 inch would be, yeah, this price, about 130, maybe 149, 150, somewhere around there. That's fine. If I could get this product and get it in Walmart and Target, they're already in Best Buy, but they're already, you know, that's higher tier pricing. But if you could get that out there 
and get it around a, a, a starting introductory $99 price point. I, I do think it would work. I do think it would work. I think they could make money doing that. Because I'm thinking of the bottom line here. Because as much as I want to say, oh yes, let's give everyone navigation and all this other stuff for free. Well, Garmin is a business. They don't do stuff for free. They want to make money, obviously. So I'm like, okay, tell them how to make money. And I, I don't want it to be something like a loss leader, as they call in the business. I don't want to do that. I want I want them to, to make legit cash with this. Because I'm thinking about this. It's like, okay, how would they make it? Okay, so 4.3s, I don't know if they could source screens like that, but for the 5 inch stuff, they should be able to get a, a, a China supply of screens. Uh, China is the first place I think of because you can get stuff for dirt cheap over there, but still make a quality product in the end. It's like, okay, could you make an edge to edge 5 inch? Kind of think of it like the Drive Smart 55. But changed around a bit, changed around a bit, and I'd have to actually talk to them because it would be too long to detail in this video. But I'd act, I would have to talk to them and say, okay, could you try this? Could you change a few things around with the UI? And also, this this is would not be a popular opinion, but I'm I'm just gonna say this because I just know it to be fact. When you have a model that has no traffic, none. It's just GPS and Wi-Fi for updates. That's usually the best solution to have something that you can just put on a mag mount, blap, where you don't have to plug in anything to it. The power's transferred through the mag mount. I don't know if they could do that at, at a $99 price point, but it'd be great if they could just blap, Put that sucker on there and then it bloop, comes on and go and that that would be neat so even anyway to recap yeah we're getting some stuff discontinued just this, this July I am glad Garmin still offers current models I use one every day these are nice too I still do believe that there is based on the reviews I see for apps like this there still is a market for the PND. I really do believe that. If they adjust their product line, if Garmin adjusts their product line so such as that, we can have something which is op A by default uh, operates vertical by default. No question about that. So you get, yeah, you got to have the vertical. You've got to have a low introductory price point. Traffic, yeah, it would be nice, but I honestly think it would run better without. I really do. I think it could work. I really think it could work. If they were willing to talk to me. They probably never will. That's okay. I don't have a problem with that. I enjoy my garments that I have, both the old ones and the new ones, the current ones, I should say. They work. But... If you do happen to be running an older guy, well, <laughs> you may got you may not get any more maps if it's 2012 or older after July of this year. So we'll see. We'll see.